And now it's time to see what's coming out today for our media partner, the Baltimore Banner. So excitement is growing as the total solar eclipse now just days away is going to be Monday. Mm -hmm. And reporter Cody Boatlur is joining us now to talk about it. Good morning, Cody. So, hey, good morning. We know there's an eclipse Monday in Baltimore. We know we're not in that path, that critical path, but will we see anything? Yeah, yeah. So, like you said, that path of totality for the solar eclipse is only about 100 miles wide, give or take. And it's going from in the U.S., from like Texas up to, to New England. Um, Maryland, unfortunately, falls outside of that path. But in Baltimore, at around 3.21 p.m., the sun will be about 88% obscured. Um, wow. So, uh, you know, you won't have that magical moment where you look up and the sky goes completely dark. Uh, but the sky will dim, which is pretty cool. I remember it dimmed a little bit in D.C. in 2017. Uh, and if you look at the ground, you'll see some really cool uh, crescent-shaped shadows, like between leaves, or mm. you know, you can take a colander and and kind of hold it up to create crescent shadows on the ground too. So some things, just not the magical sky looks broken experience of the total eclipse. 83 is not bad though. We'll take that. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> and how can someone <laughs> safely see the eclipse in our area? Yeah, so uh, do not look at the sun. Please, please, please do not look at the sun. Uh, the only way to safely view the eclipse when it's the partial eclipse is with a pair of eclipse glasses like these or something similar. Um, and something like this, you want to look and, and make sure it has this international certification on it um, for, for safety. Um, you know, you want to... Um, have, have a pair of glasses on it. It completely blocks the light. You won't be able to see anything except the direct sunlight that you're looking at. Yeah, and critical because we would never normally look at the sun on a normal day, right? We know that. But when it gets dark like that, you're fooled into thinking, oh, I guess I can look at it. Wrong. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Or wrong, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right. So when's the next time if we miss it Monday? Oh, yeah. So there are eclipses fairly regularly. They, they happen, you know, predictably. Um, but the next one in the United States that a lot of people will be able to see won't be until August 2045, Ooh. more than 20 years from now. That's, it'll cross from California down through the south and out through Florida. There's one in 2033 that touches part of Alaska and one in 2044 that kind of swoops through Montana and North Dakota. But uh, if you're going to miss the total one on Monday, I would start planning for California 2045. Whoa. I should be so lucky. <laughs> All, right. All right. Thank you, Cody. Great information. We appreciate it. And if you'd like to learn more about Cody's story, this story, the eclipse, and other great reporting from the Baltimore Banner, head to thebaltimorebanner.com.